Father. In Jesus' name, I surrender this time into your hands, Lord. I pray that you fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Help us understand, Lord. You move in our lives, Lord. Help us be filled with the Holy Spirit, Lord. We thank you for reconciling us on the cross, Lord, and giving us the Holy Spirit, Lord. Help us understand your move in our lives, Lord. Let this time be profitable, Lord, to you and to us, Lord. In Jesus' name, I consecrate each one of us into your hands, Lord. And I pray for your protection and for your provision. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In Luke chapter 4, we find that Jesus, after baptism, was tempted by the Holy Spirit. Not by the Holy Spirit, by the devil, yes, but led for that temptation by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit led him to the desert. So this temptation... is not for God to know, but for us to understand how powerful we are. I'm putting it in my own words. The the devil cannot tempt us if we choose to follow the Lord's way and walk according to the Spirit. Do you understand that? Yes? Though Jesus was hungry and he had all the power in the world, to turn that mountain into bread, he chose not to. Do you understand? Yes? So like that, the devil will tempt us with things in our heart, things that our body craves for. Be it physical or be it psychological or mental. Do you understand? It can be the need for affirmation or love, or whatever. There's nothing wrong, for example, in getting PhDs, but if you're doing that so that you are more acceptable by someone else, that's wrong. Did you understand? You need to have the freedom for which Christ has set you free and made you for. Otherwise, if you're fulfilling other people's expectations, Your whole life will be empty. Why I'm saying this is because when we lead other people to understand who God is in worship, if we bank on emotions and good feelings, we will fail. And I find that happening. And because of that, we are led by emotions and not by the Spirit. And even last Sunday, I had to correct you a couple of times. So I was thinking, what gives? Because every man thinks he is right in his own ways. Do you understand? But the Spirit of God is leading us into something else. And if you're caught up in emotions and you think you're right, you have no right to be there because you will end up getting destroyed. Do you understand that? Yes? So, all this gloom and doom is good, but the end of it is that 
while we were sinners, Jesus died for us. Do you understand? So, there is a portion, a part in this where we, if we are led by the Spirit and we walk according to the Spirit, we'll be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. In the Old Testament, when Moses went up to the mountain, the people play the fool, basically. You understand the calf with Joshua, oh not, with, uh, what's his name? Not Joshua, his brother, he says, Aaron says, he just rose up and what not, yeah? And then Moses said, who is with me in this? And the Levites joined him. And guess what happened? Basically, Moses told the Levites to kill everybody who's playing the harlot with God. That is the Old Testament. Now I was meditating on that. The same call go goes out today, but we are in the New Covenant. And the New Covenant is of grace. And we need to understand the call of God in this. Because all that death will happen at Judgment Day. But till then, the Lord has given the church his called out one, Ecclesia, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Why? So that we don't play the fool. Even if a golden calf arises, we stand by what is written. And that's why you must belong to a church. Otherwise, everything is foolishness. That, was, that is why you must be spirit-filled. That, that is why you must have a prayer language to God. Otherwise, how will you reset your system every day? You just carry on forth, faking it. And when people do that, faking, they lean on emotions, not on the true gospel. Because it is very possible for you to live your life just led by emotions. And some here sprinkling of God thing in here, because you experience His presence. But that is not reality because you find that the Bible tells us a complete transformation but you find that that is not real in, a, in your life. So what gives? Either the Bible is wrong or you have something wrong with that you did. You understand what I'm saying? Why I'm saying all this is because when Jesus came into my life when I was born again there was a complete change from night to day. And guaranteed, I was not perfect then, and I'm being perfected each day. But there was a change. My values, my attitude, everything changed. If there's no change, and I have to be a cheerleader for, for you every Sunday, that means... You're not born again. Face it. It's just a emotional experience. Or maybe you are, but you're not taught on how to depend on the Holy Spirit. Unless the Lord reveals, I can't tell one way or the other. Yes? Did you understand? But what I want to highlight is the danger of following just emotions and not reality as dictated in the Bible. If you are a new creation and you are not experientially, then something is wrong. If you have a father in heaven and he's aloof and you don't even know how to get to him, then what is the work on the cross but foolishness? It's good to go to church and like I said, attend seven services every, every Sunday. But during the week, if you don't have that risen Lord's power, 
in you, working through you. What's the point? So, I want you to be aware of this and lose what is not real or what is not from God, all the lie of the devil in your life. And that's why I called you today. Because we are moving, or we ought to have been moving as led by the Holy Spirit. But I find that it's like almost being in prison. When I push, when I push, and I, as the Holy Spirit leads, I find that the worship team is not able to move. It'll be good if they just put all the mics down on thing and just base it on me. But then, what if I go through and then you just sit and watch? It will not be experiential to you. Maybe you will have good feelings and goosebumps during worship. Or maybe you will even have visions of angels. Because the angels do show up. But if it doesn't change your life, what's the point? If your heart is not beating for souls, do you have to check? Because Father's heart beats for souls, our Father in heaven. And if it's beating for something else, like the next iPhone or whatever, do you have to check? Are you faking it when you say you have the Father's heart? Are you lying? This is part of grieving the Holy Spirit. When you say you have the Holy Spirit, when we say we have the Holy Spirit, but we do everything we can in our power to ignore Him. And when the Word of God is preached, some people fall asleep, some people go into la-la land, it's not taking effect at all. So what gives? Do you understand? The reason I'm telling you all this is because there is hope. There is freedom. And if you ask me what to be done during this time, I really don't know. All I know is that we should be filled with the Spirit. And if that means just being still, then be still. I'm not talking about a tarrying meeting or anything like that. I'm not even talking about soaking in the Spirit. For that to happen, there must be first a move of the Spirit. You can fool everyone into saying that, but don't get into emotionalism. Do you understand what I'm saying? So be real this time. Because I've been, for the last two or three weeks, I've been praying and in prayer and in communion with God only to realize, I told you this before, the more I know, the less it matters that I know. For example, the more I know about the signs of the end time, the le less it matters what those signs are. What is prophetical? Yes, I know. I have, I'll teach, but what matters now is, do I really have the heart of God? And if I don't, all this is knowledge that is going to puff up. Do you understand what I mean? Yes? I could tell you umpteen number of end sign times, but if your heart is not beating for God, then what is it doing? What am I doing? And this is the biggest change that has happened in the last three weeks. Where, as Jesus said in his letter to Ephesus in Revelation chapter 2, you have lost your first love. And he was talking to me, I don't know about you. I don't know whether you had a first love in the first place or it was just emotions. I'm sure the Spirit of the Lord would have touched you, otherwise you would still not be here after this many years. But 
having touched you 20, 30, 40 years ago, it's like saying, I took a shower way back then. Do you understand? So we all need a touch of the Lord right now. That will stop all this nonsense from being nonsense. And the reality of the Word of God will come into our life. And sometimes you need to stop praying because I don't know what you're praying to. One person told me they're fasting. I said, do you know what fasting is all about in the new covenant? He said, no, pastor. Then I said, don't fast. Same thing. What are you praying for? And what has that gotten in your life? Yeah, a couple of syllables, you say, hamana, 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 doesn't change anything. Then what is that? You get the satisfaction of saying, oh, I spoke in tongues, but then what? Is that really tongues? Really. It's time to evaluate our own lives, to check what is happening. Otherwise, we're going to go with this emotional nonsense and end up missing the boat completely. When Jesus comes eventually, we're not going to recognize that. Not if our heart is beating for something else. Do you understand? So at this time, I don't know what to do in specific, but all I know is that when we worship, the Lord will do what needs to be done. Could that be as... One pastor said, I was watching the revival. He said, people in Kerala don't know how to be silent before the Lord. Just hear the Lord, what he's doing in our lives. Maybe is that required? And in the West, if you go, there's the other extreme, but there is the proper, but there's the other extreme, which is categorized as soaking where all you have is emotional music and then you just sit there in that emotional music and they call the, that the atmosphere of God? No. I'm not saying it is not, but I'm saying if it doesn't change you, then what's the point? It's just emotionalism. Do you understand? Yes? You have to have God radiate out of you. If it doesn't happen, you're just playing the fool. You can be a chaplain, people who assigned you to be a chaplain. I don't know what their motives are and all these things, but that doesn't change. The judgment that we all have to face as humans. And people may call you chaplain, and I'm just using you as an example need not be that they're spirit-led. I remember when the Lord was moving, when we had the encounter session, someone who claimed to be a priest came forward and I saw him trembling because he knew the presence of God was there. And I was praying to the Lord not to strike him down because he came to prove something else. But then from then on, every time he met me, he started crying. Why? Because the Lord touched him. Do you understand? So don't stand in your arrogance and pride. Because at the end of the day, you have a reality that you need to face. And it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. Do you understand? If Jesus is not real, you're faking it. You might as well throw away the Bible because that's what I did. Because I wanted reality. I wanted something real in my life. And the Lord has been leading me to the past where things have gone wrong and because of that I've done certain things and, you know, and the Lord has been setting me free from that. And I didn't even realize that, but I'm saying he can do the same thing to you. So if you're not hungry for the Lord, that is a good sign that you are 
not at all spirit led because those who are will be hungry for more the more the lord fills you with the spirit the more hungry you will be i'm just trying to make you understand all this and i'm not trying to condemn you in any way because all my words are taken as condemnation by those who are not led by the holy spirit but you need to understand yes so we're going to allow the lord to minister to us do you understand is it in in a healing i don't know is it in impartation i don't know i don't i don't have a term or technical thing for it but maybe as the lord is leading me to do these things maybe is individual maybe on one person is in a healing the other person is impartation maybe on the other person is both i don't know but i love the lord to do he knows what to do to once and and as he tells me i'll do what i need to do do you understand and for for you both we ministering the lord will touch you do you understand yes and if there's anything that needs to be done while this is going on you just let me know do you understand yes you clear on this yes okay so let's worship him hallelujah Take that song, Hallelujah. 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 forwarded something to you which i felt the lord wanted each of us to understand and the videos are there in that group there was a boy who had basically manic depression apparently the girl that he liked left him so all he wanted to do was commit suicide and he was completely distraught 
so he went to a church and um alongside that he went to a psychiatrist psychiatrist who told him that not only does he need psycho psychology he needs psychotherapy so he went to a person who does the psychotherapy and he was using voice as a means of psychotherapy and he was saying you it's all in the video so i may not get it exactly right all the terms but he was saying there are three types of voices that a human being can make one is you from your vocal cords the other is from your chest diaphragm i don't know what there's a three there are three but from the stomach yes the one is from the stomach yes so the one from your vocal cords is very i study this as a musician when when you study singing i it has its place but it's quiet right now when i'm speaking to you i may be speaking from my vocal cords but then there is a chest voice that's a little louder but then there is a voice that comes from your belly that you use your diaphragm completely that's when you shout out you want to say when you shout you use that voice you don't use your I mean you use your vocal cords but that's what powers us that's engine behind it and he was saying that those who are depressed cannot use that third level of voice it's impossible for them so he was saying that like he had given some sounds like i from what i heard he said ah say ah and the guy couldn't say r ah from his chest or diagram a diaphragm not a diagram so he tried a lot of things finally he gave up and the doctor said why don't you go join the pentecostals in kerala who say hallelujah and that's what you need to say so he went to a, that church and they said hallelujah we just sang hallelujah chorus yes so the hormones are namak happy feeling nalgi therunnathu this joy hormones uh, make us happy nammude sharirathil thanne oru vaadu glands undu pineal glands undu pituitary glands undu pancreas undu ovaries undu testes undu thyroid gland undu parathyroid gland undu hypothalamus undu adrenal glands undu ingane idella hormone produce cheyna glandugalana there are so many glands that produce hormones for example uh, pituitary gland pancreas ovaries testes thyroid glands you know hypothalamus for example all these glands secrete hormones so a secretion of hormones adinu deivam vechirikkunna oru level undu aa levelile imbalances undagumbodana kedu varunathu so when there is imbalances in the amount of hormone secreted that's where defects come adane swadhinikkunna oru pradhana karyamana thought patterns nu parayunnathu i mean a major thing which influences the secretion of hormones is the thought pattern chindagalkku ningalde ee hormone production swadhinikkan sadhi your thoughts can influence your hormone production valare sathikanam chindagalkku roopaandrikarana undayengil mathrame namakku depression jeyikkan kediyathu be very careful unless and until you transform your thoughts until then you cannot overcome depression karana chindagal anubhudigale purapaduvikkum because thoughts will release emotion feelings aa anubhudigal mukhandaramayittu nammude sharirathil polum ulla idhe poleyulla secretion of hormones adine swadhinikkum chindagal and due to this feelings this feelings will influence the secretion of hormones nele nilkuna nilil depressionil ninnu oru vidudil ningal agrahikkunu engil ningalde chindagalkku permanent aayittulla oru maatram undagum when if you want a permanent healing from the depression that you are going through your thoughts should change it should be transformed chindagal sakshatai allengil positive ay allengil vadana prakaram aayittulla chindagalaakki maatrana you should make your thoughts positive or else you know like truthful towards the word of god when you make it positive according to the word of god your Adod- thoughts will transform adoda nichane njan munbu parannathu pole ningal undagunna negative emotions ne sharirathilo vaakkalilo prakadipikkirathu as i told you before don't uh, release those feelings in your body or in your talks 
നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഡിപ്രഷൻ പോലെ ഉണ്ടാകുന്നു സൂയിസൈഡൽ തോട്ട്സ് ഉണ്ടാകുന്നു അപ്പോൾ വാ കൊണ്ട് പറയരുത് അയ്യോ മരിച്ചാൽ മതിയായിരുന്നു അങ്ങനെ പറയരുത് പറയുമ്പോൾ അതിൻ്റെ ഇൻറ്റൻസിറ്റി വർദ്ധിക്കും സോ വെൻ യു ഗെറ്റ് സൂയിസൈഡൽ ടെൻഡൻസീസ് ഓൾ ദോസ് തിങ്സ് നെവർ ഓപ്പൺ യർ മൗത്ത് ആൻഡ് സേ ഓ ഐ ഷുഡ് ഡോയ് വെൻ യു സേ ലൈക്ക് ദസ് ദ ഇൻറ്റൻസിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ ഫീലിംഗ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇമോഷൻസ് വിൽ ഇൻക്രീസ് സംസാരിക്കണം എന്നുള്ള പ്രഷർ വരുന്നതിനെ മനഃപൂർവ്വമായിട്ട് ദയോജനം പറഞ്ഞ് നിങ്ങൾ അതിനെ ജയിക്കണം ഐ മീൻ വെൻ യു ഗെറ്റ് എ tendency to speak out that negative emotion or feeling you should rebuke it with the word of god mathravella action like poru poi chennu blade edukku angana action like poru never lead yourself to any of the action never go and take a blade ee karyangale kurichulla awareness aanu njan ee vajana shushrushilude nalgichirunnathu i am giving awareness about all these things through the ministration of the word of god idu prayogikamaakkuga enna uttaravadham ningalkkagum amen it's your responsibility to make it practical പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിനോട് സഹകരിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അതിനുള്ള ശക്തി നൽകിത്തരും ഈ നിഷേധാർത്ഥകമാകുന്ന വികാരങ്ങളെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അതിൻ്റെ ബലത്തെ കുറച്ച് 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 കൊണ്ടുവരുവാൻ കഴിയും ഡിമിനിഷ് ചെയ്ത് കൊണ്ടുവരുവാൻ കഴിയും ഒരു ഘട്ടം കഴിയുമ്പോൾ അത്തരത്തിലുള്ള വികാരങ്ങൾ വരാത്ത ഒരു വ്യക്തിയായിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ മാറും ഐ മേ യു ക്യാൻ ഡിമിനിഷ് ദ പവർ ഓഫ് ദിസ് ടോക്സിക് തോട്ട്സ് വൺ ബൈ വൺ വൺ ബൈ വൺ ആൻഡ് അറ്റ് എ പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് ടൈം യു വിൽ ബി എ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു വിൽ ബി നോട്ട് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് ബൈ എനി ഓഫ് ദിസ് നെഗറ്റീവ് തോട്ട്സ് എൻ്റെ അരികിൽ ഒരു യൗവനക്കാരൻ കുറേ വർഷങ്ങൾക്ക് മുന്നേ സെവിയർ ഡിപ്രഷൻ one of a, a young man who was with me was in severe depression Dis- years ago despair aayi poi adhem he was in despair prema bandham nagarunnu moolavan as his love relationship got spoiled adu valare gurudana vaippe amma kooda irikkano illengi ivan almahathiya bhayangara pressure aanu almahathiya i mean it was very severe that his mother should be always with him he was always suicidal ആ സമയത്ത് ഞങ്ങളെ കണ്ടുമുട്ടി and he met us ഞങ്ങളും ചെറുതായിട്ട് ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യാൻ തുടങ്ങി and we started helping him so they had psychiatrist ne kaanumayirunnu he used to visit the psychiatrist and kore kuda vaidigthamulla oru psychiatrist inde arigil poi and we went to a qualified psychiatrist adhehathinte arigil chennappo psychiatrist ivante symptoms ellam kandu kanju paranju nee psychiatric medicines kaiyal kaichal maatram pore nee psychotherapy kude ponu nu paranju amen after seeing his symptoms the psychiatrist said it's not enough that you only take the psychiatric medicine you should go for psychotherapy ഫിസിയോതെറാപ്പി പോലെ തന്നെ മനസ്സിനുള്ള തെറാപ്പിയാണ് ഫിസിക്കൽ ആയിട്ടുള്ള തെറാപ്പിയാണ് സൈക്കോതെറാപ്പി ഐ മീൻ ആസ് ഫിസിയോതെറാപ്പി देयर ഇസ് എ തെറാപ്പി ഫോർ ദി മൈൻഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് കോൾഡ് സൈക്കോതെറാപ്പി സോ ഇദ്ദേഹം സൈക്കോ പന്തളത്തിൽ ഒരു സൈക്കോതെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ഇരിക്കുന്നു ആൻഡ് ഹി വെന്റ് ടു എ പ്ലേസ് കോൾഡ് പന്തളമ സൈക്കോതെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ പന്തളം പന്തളത്തിലുള്ള സൈക്കോതെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് വോയിസ് തെറാപ്പിയാണ് നടത്തുന്നത് and the therapist in you know pandalam he used to you know use the method of voice therapy so he psychotherapist avarku pala ubadhigal undu avare room inde color inde okay adu depression e maatuvan vendiyulla color combinations ana pala therapies undu nal ee therapist ubhayikunnathu voice therapy aanu ubhayikunnathu so many ways to treat it you know different kind of therapies like you know bringing in paints of different colors to remove the depression the mental state and there are different kind of method and this uh, you know so psychotherapist is using a voice therapy a depression allorku uyarna shabdam edukkan kediyathilla the people who has depression cannot take a louder voice now the three levels of voice und you have three levels of voice peripheral aitla voice und nammude vocal cords inde sahayathodu varuna voice und we have a voice which comes with the help of vocal cords and chest inde muscles inde sahayathodu varuna korachude higher level of voice und it's a higher level of voice which comes with the help of chest and muscles and lastly is wire inde muscle inde sahayathodu varuna atahasam nu parayunnathu high level of voice i mean and there is a higher level of voice which comes from the abdominal muscles he depression ullavarku high level of voice edukkan the peripheral voice mathre avarku edukkan kodullu shabdam uyartan kediyathilla the people with depression cannot use the sound from the abdomen they can only use the peripheral voice which is coming from the you know vocal glands despair angane high level depression like pogana and third level depression like pogana and develop shabdam avarku in edukkan kodullu i mean if you go to third level of depression you can you can never use your sound properly അപ്പോൾ ഈവന് ഈ ഈ മോൻ അത് എടുക്കാനും ഒക്കത്തില്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ തെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് ഇവനെ ഒരു ചെയറിൽ ഇരുത്തും ചെയറിൽ ഇരുത്തിയതിന് ശേഷമായിട്ട് ഇവനോട് പറയുകയാണ് നിന്റെ വോയിസ് നീ വർദ്ധിപ്പിക്കുക ഐ മീൻ സൈക്കോതെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് മേഡ് ഹിം സിറ്റ് ഓൺ എ ചെയർ ആൻഡ് സെറ്റ് ഇൻക്രീസ് യുവർ വോയിസ് ഒരു ശബ്ദം കൊടുക്കും ആൻഡ് ഗേവ് ഹിം എ വോയിസ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആ അപ്പോൾ അവനോട് പറയും ആ എന്ന് പറയാൻ പറയും ഹി ഹി യൂസ് ടു സേ സേറ്റ് ഇൻ എ ലൗഡ് വോയിസ് ഈവൻ പറയുമ്പോൾ ആ 
and he says in a very small voice will listen to it can't tell he cannot take a loud voice so we need a therapist we need to get a worth to become and he and again the therapist will instruct to increase his volume pala vatta men boy many times he tried peyvane kondu the therapist ang maduthu and the therapist got fed up with him odil therapist or neda pendikyo sari alleliya parayunnathu parayada nu parju and the final therapist say hey say a hallelujah as a pentecostal he says hallelujah aba avan oru velipadu getti and he got a revelation edina ee therapist nadaka vandu paisa kudukkanadu why am i giving money to the therapist pendikyo sarru kudu kudiya pore i should only go with pentecost people and our avan avan bodu stop you and he stop going to the therapist yengalo kuda vandu he came with us അപ്പോൾ എനിക്ക് അന്നേരം ഒരു വലിയ വെളിപ്പാട് കിട്ടി ഏറ്റവും ബെസ്റ്റ് മെഡിസിൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വാ തുറന്ന് അല്ലേലിയ പറയുകയാണ് നിന്റെ ഇമോഷണൽ മേഖലയിൽ മുഴുവൻ സൗഖ്യം നടക്കുകയാണ് therapy aanu ee church nadakkunathu so the voice therapy is happening inside this church aalukal paisa koduthu voice therapy nadathudu people are giving money and taking voice therapy ivada ningu free aid voice therapy lavikka here you are you know getting free voice therapy നിങ്ങൾ തന്നെ ഞാനിപ്പോൾ ഒന്നും ചിന്തിച്ചു ചോദിക്കും നമ്മൾ ഈ ആരാധനയ്ക്കൊക്കെ ചിലപ്പോൾ ഇച്ചിരി ഡിസ്കറേജ് ആയിട്ടൊക്കെ വരും വന്ന് രണ്ട് ചാട്ടവും അയിലേലും എല്ലാം പറഞ്ഞു കഴിയുമ്പോൾ പോകുന്നുണ്ട് നമ്മൾ ഫ്രീ ആയിട്ടല്ലേ പോകുന്നത് ആയിരിക്കും so devam vechirikkunnathu idella supernatural medicines are so everything which god has kept is supernatural medicine ningalude shabdam yerthumbol adu oru medicine aanu man when you are lifting your voice that's a medicine ee vajana oru medicine aanu this word of god is a medicine ee fellowship oru medicine aanu this fellowship is a medicine thiyamayittu samuhathinu venda ella karyangalum devam charchi vechittundu but everything which is required for the society god has entrusted that to the church science il വളരെ പഠനം നടത്തിയവർ പറയുമ്പോൾ മാത്രമേ നമുക്കിത് വിശ്വസിക്കാൻ കഴിയുന്നത് country and vivaham kalichu he got married kudumbasthan he became he had a family avaru rendu oru vera rajyathu veendu oru padinaran rajyathu poi avaru ipo var western nation ku settled yeah they migrated into a western nation together as a family totally healed they were completely so, healed despair ayirna third level of depression il ninnu ah magane karthavu poornamayi sokhyam amen god healed that young man who was in despair in third level of depression god healed him completely medication todarenda aayittu vannilla amen he didn't have to take medicines any longer jeevithathinu or lakshyam lebichu amen he got a aim to his life nalla jolly lebichu he got a good job nalla married life lebichu he got a good married life so depression la irikkunor angane ulla sahajaringalude kadannu pogunnorundengil thirchayittum yesu inde mukathekku nokki kenjal ningalku total healing nalgi tharan kartha vishwasam so people who are going through depression if you are looking into the face of jesus he is faithful to give you complete healing oru divasam kondu roga sokyam nadakkunna pole thelippu oru albudu sokyam angane kartha vini cheyam angane irikkunnu nilla njangade oke jeevathil progressive healing aanu sambhavichathu amen we might be expecting god to heal us like spontaneously on the spot but in our our life the healing was step by step adey pole ulla mattoru pradhana petta tool aanu inner healing swigirikano nu aagraham undengil oru pradhana petta tool undu adu repentance aanu another tool if you want to receive full inner healing is a repentance adine kurichum chila karyangal parayvan aagrahikkunu i want to say a few things about that too chila misunderstanding undu repentance nu parayumbol chilla chindikkunathu okay paavam cheyda enikku repent cheyan kariyum nanu ellaru chindikkunu Everybody thinks that if I sin I can repent. No. No repentance can't. is a gift of God. Repentance they you think the dana ana. Nanakku thaniyam repent cheyanu vecha nadakkathilla. If you think you can repent by your own you cannot. After deliberately committing sin there is no guarantee that you repent. God can harden your heart. Yeah. Paavam cheyunnathinu shesham repent cheyyamennu guarantee onnum illa. 
ദൈവം നിനക്ക് റിപ്പൻറ്റൻസ് ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് തന്നെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ നിനക്ക് റിപ്പൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ദ യു കെൻ നോട്ട് ഗ്യാരണ്ടി ദാറ്റ് യു കെൻ റിപ്പൻറ്റ് അൺലെസ് ഗോഡ് എനേബിൾസ് യു വിത്ത് ദ ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് റിപ്പൻറ്റൻസ് ടു ടേൺ ബാക്ക് ടു ഹിം സൽവേഷൻ ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ആണ് ഫെയ്ത്ത് ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ആണ് ഗ്രേസ് ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ആണ് same way repentance is also a gift from god i mean as salvation is a gift faith is a gift uh, you know all the gifts in in the list of all the gifts repentance is also a gift from god edengile samayath paavam cheyadin shesham manasandara pettengi devudhu nanni varnadu kartave nanu manasandara padan ennodu kruba kaanichathu kondana enikku manasandara padan kadi at any point of your life if you got a chance to repent thank god that god gave you that grace to repent രണ്ട് കൊരിന്ത്യർ അതിന്റെ ഏഴാമത്തെ അധ്യായം പത്താമത്തെ വാക്യം സെക്കൻഡ് കൊരിന്ത്യസ് 7 verse 10 ഓക്കേ ഇതാ ഞാൻ ദൈവഹിത പ്രകാരമുള്ള ദുഃഖം അനുതാപം വരാത്ത മാനസാന്തരത്തെ രക്ഷയ്ക്കായി ഉളവാക്കുന്നു ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ ദുഃഖമോ മരണത്തെ ഉളവാക്കുന്നു ഫോർ ഗോഡ്ലി ഗ്രീഫ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസസ് ആ റിപ്പൻഡൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ലീഡ്സ് ടു സാൽവേഷൻ വിത്തൗട്ട് റിഗ്രറ്റ് വേർ ആസ് വേൾഡ്ലി ഗ്രീഫ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസസ് ഡെത്ത് വിതൗട്ട് റിഗ്രറ്റ് സോ നമ്മൾ മാനസാന്തരപ്പെട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പിന്നെ നമുക്ക് ഇതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് ഖേദിക്കേണ്ട റിഗ്രറ്റ് ഒന്നും വെക്കേണ്ട കാര്യം ഇഫ് യു റിപ്പൻഡ് യു ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് ടു റിഗ്രറ്റ് നിങ്ങൾ ദൈവഹിത പ്രകാരമുള്ള ദുഃഖം ആ ദുഃഖം നിങ്ങളിൽ മാനസാന്തരത്തെ രക്ഷയ്ക്കായി ഉളവാക്കുന്നു ഗോഡ്ലി ഗ്രീഫ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസസ് റിപ്പൻഡൻസ് അറ്റ് ലീഡ്സ് ടു സാൽവേഷൻ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ പോലീസ് കുരിന്തിർക്ക് ഈ ലേഖനം എഴുതുമ്പോൾ അതിൻ്റെ പന്ത്രണ്ടാമത്തെ അധ്യായം ഇരുപത്തൊന്നാമത്തെ വാക്യത്തിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ പറയുന്നത് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക ഞാൻ വീണ്ടും വരുമ്പോൾ എൻ്റെ ദൈവം എന്നെ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഇടയിൽ താഴ്ത്തുവാനും പാപം ചെയ്തിട്ട് തങ്ങൾ പ്രവർത്തിച്ച അശുദ്ധി ദുർനടപ്പ് ദുഷ്കാമം എന്നിവയെക്കുറിച്ച് മാനസാന്തരപ്പെടാത്ത പലരെയും ചൊല്ലി ഖേദിപ്പാനും സംഗതി വരുമോ എന്ന് ഞാൻ ഭയപ്പെടുന്നു കണ്ടോ പാപം ചെയ്തിട്ട് മാനസാന്തരപ്പെടാത്തവർ റീഡ് ഇൻ സെക്കൻഡ് കൊറിന്ത്യൻസ് ട്വൽവ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഐ ഫിയർ ദറ്റ് ഐ that when i come again my god may humble me before you and i may have to mourn over many of those who have sinned earlier and have not repented of the impurity so repentance is a radical change change your old nature agenda routine and surrender to the will of god unconditional turning from all that is against god true repentance involves a change of heart and purpose it is inevitable its inevitable results in a change of behavior so finally there will be a change of behavior wow, amen the swabhavathine yadartha repentance ninne evadathikum ninde swabhavathine oru maatham undu the real true repentance will bring a change in your behavior റിപ്പൻറ്റൻസിന് യഥാർത്ഥത്തിൽ ടു ലെവൽസ് ഉണ്ട് ലോജിക്കലും ഉണ്ട് ഇമോഷണലും ഉണ്ട് റിപ്പൻറ്റൻസ് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇൻ ടു വെയ്സ് ടു ലെവൽസ് വൺ ഇസ് ലോജിക്കൽ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇസ് ഇമോഷണൽ യുക്തിപരമായിട്ടും വൈകാരികപരമായിട്ടും റിപ്പൻറ്റൻസ് നമ്മളിലൂടെ പുറപ്പെടണം ഐ മീൻ റിപ്പൻറ്റൻസ് ഷുഡ് ഹാപ്പൻ ഇൻ അവർ ലോജിക്കൽ ഏരിയ ആൻഡ് അവർ ഇമോഷണൽ ഏരിയ ഗാഡ് ഹാസ് എ പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ജസ്റ്റിസ് സിസ്റ്റം ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ നീതിനായ സംവിധാനം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കുറ്റം tamattadana amen god's justice system is unblameable ee bhoomilulla kodathigalu nam vishwasikkan okkathilla you cannot believe the you know courts in this world ivra judge ne vare bribe yan kaniyunna oru logathile nammal jeevikkum we are living in a world where we can even bribe the judge kuttamatta oru neethi nyaya samvidhanam alla innu bhoomilulladu we cannot see a completely justice justice system in the world and the devathinte justice system nu rendu perfect aanu the justice system of the lord is perfect kuttamatta thagunu it's perfect devamana judge jesus god is a judge adu kondu kuttamatta oru justice system aanu devathinullathu i mean so the justice system of god is really fair avada paapam cheyal if you do sin there അതിനകത്ത് എന്റെ പങ്ക് അതിനകത്ത് എന്താണ് എന്ന് ഞാൻ കണ്ടെത്തണം മനസ്സിലാക്കണം ഞാൻ ആ പാപം ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ആർക്കൊക്കെ 
അതിന്റെ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുണ്ട എന്ന് ഞാൻ മനസ്സിലാക്കണം ജസ്റ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് മീ സിന്നിങ് ഹൗ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ വെർ പുറ്റ് ടു ട്രബൾ യു ഷുഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് സി പലരുടെയും റിപ്പെന്റൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ജസ്റ്റ് കർത്താവ് സന്നിധിയിലെ കർത്താവ് എന്നോട് ക്ഷമിക്കണേ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് അങ്ങ് പോകുക ആ മേ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ റിപ്പെന്റ് ലൈക് ദിസ് ദേ കം ടു ദ പ്രയർ റൂം ദേ നീൽ ഓൺ ദിസ് ഗോഡ് ഫോർ ഗിവ് മീ ദേ ഗെറ്റ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഗോ ഏ ഒരു അപ്പന്റെ അരികിൽ കുഞ്ഞ് ആദ്യം പാവം ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞ് ആദ്യം തെറ്റ് ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ മനസ്സറക്കേട് കാണിച്ചു മനസ്സറക്കേട് കഴിച്ചു പപ്പ 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 പറഞ്ഞേടാ നിന്നോട് സോറി പറഞ്ഞെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വെൻ ആ ചൈൽഡ് ഡിഡ് മിസ്റ്റേക്ക് ഫോർ ദി ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ടു ദി ഡാഡ് ആൻഡ് ഡാഡ് സെഡ് ടു ദി ചൈൽഡ് സേ സോറി അപ്പോൾ അവൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഡാഡി പ്ലീസ് ഐ എം സോറി ഐ എം സോറി ഐ എം സോറി ഡാഡി ദ ചൈൽഡ് വാസ് റിപ്പീറ്റഡ്ലി സേയിങ് ഡാഡ് ഐ എം സോറി പ്ലീസ് ഫോർ ഗിവ് മീ പിന്നെ കുറേ നാൾ കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോഴത്തേന് ഇത് പതിവല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ പിന്നെന്തെങ്കിലും പാത്രമെല്ലാം ഓടം ചെയ്ത് തന്നെ പറയും ഡാഡി സോറി ലൈറ്റ് വെൻ ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കേം നോർമൽ ആൻഡ് ജനറൽ ഫോർ ദ കിഡ് ഇഫ് യു ബ്രേക്സ് അപ്പ് ലൈറ്റ് ഓൾസോ ഹിൽ ലൈക്ക് ഡാഡി ഐ എം സോറി അതുപോലെയാണ് ക്രിസ്ത്യാനികൾ ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കം സോ ക്യാഷൽ ആൻഡ് ക്രിസ്ത്യൻസ് ആർ ബിക്കം സോ ക്യാഷൽ ക്യാഷൽ ആയിട്ട് മാറുക അപ്പോൾ യഥാർത്ഥത്തിൽ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പാപം വരികയാണെങ്കിൽ ജീവിതത്തിൽ സംഭവിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിൻ്റെ ഡെപ്ത്ത് of that sin ariyanam adu mula arkokke adinde kedugal unda ennu manasilakkanadu avashyam when if a sin is happening in your life you should understand what is the depth of your sin at the same time what all it has affected who all it has affected for example sexual sins ne njangal deal eena sandarbhathile njangal parnu kodukkunna oru karyam nee sexual sinil nee poye pol nee ariyokke adu mula murippaduthi onnu devathinu virodhamaayi nee paavam cheyidu rendu nee ചർച്ചിന് വിരോധമായി പാപം ചെയ്തു മൂന്ന് നീ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായി പാപം ചെയ്തു നാല് നീ നിനക്ക് നിന്റെ മാതാപിതാക്കൾക്ക് വിരോധമായി പാപം ചെയ്തു അഞ്ച് നീ ഇനി കല്യാണം കഴിക്കാണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ആ പെൺകുട്ടിക്ക് വിരോധമായി പാപം ചെയ്തു തീർന്നിട്ടില്ല നീ ഇനി ജനിക്കാണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന എൻ്റെ മക്കൾക്ക് വിരോധമായി പാപം ചെയ്തു കാരണം സെക്ഷൽ സിനിസ് ജനറേഷൻ അല്ല ഇറ്റ് വിൽ പാസ് ഓൺ ഫ്രം വൺ ജനറേഷൻ ടു അനദർ ജനറേഷൻ സോ ഒരു സെക്ഷൽ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഒരാൾ ഫോണിക്കേഷൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് മൂലമായിട്ടുള്ള അതിൻ്റെ കോൺസിക്വൻസസ് ഏതൊക്കെ മേഖലയിൽ ഭരണ കിടക്കുകയാണ് so when we you know talk about sexual sins you know we say that you sinned against god god you sinned against your parents you parents. sinned against your church, church you sinned against yourself you sinned against your future, future husband or wife or you sinned against your future children who are supposed to be born because sexual sin is generational, generational. come on so the and the depth man is like you know നമ്മൾ കർത്താവിന്റെ സന്നിധിയിൽ ഈ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഏറ്റു പറയേണ്ടത് സോ യു ഷുഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ ഡെപ്ത് ഓഫ് ദിസ് തിങ് ആൻഡ് കൺഫസ് ഇറ്റ് ടു ദി ലോർഡ് ആൻഡ് ആൾസോ ഹൗ അവർ ബിഹേവിയർ अफेക്റ്റഡ് ജീസസ് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ അവർ ബിഹേവിയർസ് अफेക്റ്റഡ് ഗോഡ് വെൻ വി കമിറ്റ് സിൻ ഇറ്റ് ബ്രിങ്സ് ബ്ലെമിഷ് ഓൺ us ആൻഡ് ലോർഡ് ജീസസ് കാൻ നോട്ട് പ്രസന്റ് us ടു ദി ഫാദർ വെൻ നമ്മൾ ഒരു പാപം ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ മേൽ കുറ്റം വന്നു നമ്മൾ കറപുരണ്ടതായത് കൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് നമ്മളെ ദൈവസ്ഥനിൽ നിർത്തുവാൻ കഴിയത്തില്ല പർ നാച്ചുറൽ സീക്രെറ്റ്സ് ഇല്ല ഇൻ സൂപ്പർ നാച്ചുറൽ देयर ഇസ് നോ സീക്രെറ്റ്സ് നമ്മൾ പാപം ചെയ്യുന്ന രഹസ്യമായിട്ടല്ലേ വി ഈറ്റ് സിൻ സീക്രെറ്റ്ലി ആരും കണ്ടില്ല no body saw papa kandilla mommy kandilla your mom and dad no one saw the pastor kandilla your pastor also didn't see i only saw no no you your angel is writing it down you see 12 minutes i wrote it in 2 seconds 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 i wrote it in 2 Every right. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Or a legal right. So every sin that you do, the devil is also watching, your angel is also watching, your angel is recording at 12 p.m. Two minutes after 12, at two seconds, he did a sin. At the same time, the devil is also seeing and there becomes a legal agreement with you and the demon. Come on. So you have the responsibility to break that. So you have the responsibility to break that. So you have the legal right to do that. You are giving the demon a legal right. How do you break the legal right? 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 Repentance. Through repentance. Repent is not. When we repent, our legal right is not. His legal right is completely broken. Our repentance is not a confession applicable. And when you confess that repentance is applicable, when you... Yeah. Yes. So, we are... പിശാചിനെ എംപവർ ചെയ്യുകയാണ് പാപം ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ വെൻ യു സിൻ യു ആർ എംപവറിംഗ് ഡീമൻസ് ആൻഡ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്ന ആ പാപം മൂലം നമ്മൾ യേശുവിനെ സത്യത്തിൽ 
ഈശോന ദുഃഖിപ്പിക്കാണ് ഫ്രസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഇൻ ജീസസ് ആണ് ഡീപ് ഫ്രസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഇൻ ജീസസ് വി ആർ ബ്രിങ്ങിങ് ഗ്രീഫ് ടു ജീസസ് വി ആർ ഫ്രസ്ട്രേറ്റിംഗ് ജീസസ് വെൻ വി സിൻ ഡീപ് ഡിസപ്പോയിന്റ്മെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡീപ് ഗ്രീഫ് yeah we are devastating and grieving jesus because kartha itra ellam cheyidirikkunu holy spirit ne nalgirikkan o paavam cheyada namukku jeevikkan kadi god has done jesus has done so much for us and he has given the holy spirit for us so that we can live a holy life in the holy spirit but still we choose to sin a deep disappointment undagunu kartha there is a devastation over there and also ഞാൻ പാപം ചെയ്തത് മൂലം അത് റിപ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്യാതിരിക്കുന്നത് മൂലമായിട്ട് എനിക്ക് പുതിയ ടൂൾസ് കർത്താവിന് തരാൻ കഴിയത്തില്ല എനിക്കൊരു ലോസ് ഉണ്ടാകുന്നുണ്ട് I am also having a loss. Kartha wanted the intimacy in Kartha nashta pittu. I am losing the intimacy with God. New tools in Kartha nashta pittu. I am not able to receive new tools. E deeper awareness of the Lord. ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ കൺവസ് കൺഫസ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോഴാണ് ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് ട്രൂ റിപ്പെൻറ്റൻസ് വിത്ത് ദിസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ഡീപ്പർ നോളജ് ഓഫ് വാട്ട് ഹാവ് യു ഡോൺ വെൻ യു കൺഫസ് ഇറ്റ് ടു ഗോഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് വേ യു റിസീവ് റിപ്പെൻറ്റൻസ് ആമേൻ പ്രീച്ച് ഇറ്റ് ആമേൻ ആബ think or what you feel believe that when two or three are gathered together in the name of Jesus he is there in our midst continue to worship him in your own words hallelujah don't be silent this is not the time to be silent Hallelujah. Ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit. you to understand the lord is there with us and in his spirit is moving and if you can't feel and think it's time that you ask in spirit and truth the lord says we shall worship him hallelujah hallelujah shukr abara be led by the holy spirit as the lord leads you play whatever songs you want yeah yeah it's that you just follow me whatever songs. This is the time between you and the Lord.
this time during this time what i said about having truth in our inner being if you apply that to your life it will set you free you have to check your life and how you have been led so far if it all has been a lie then start again god doesn't condemn you but in this time during these times we need to be filled with the holy spirit not any strange spirits but the holy spirit god doesn't condemn us our father doesn't condemn us in the old testament if you play the fool you dead but in the new testament his love is grace is mercy extends towards us and he is given to his church his body apostles prophets evangelists pastors and teachers so that you are not rocked by anything you're not going to and fro but you stay rooted in the word hallelujah and the spirit of god helps you hallelujah so i don't know what you have been taught and what you have learned and what you've experienced all that doesn't matter what matters is the word of god and in john 17:3 jesus said that they may know the truth the true god and jesus christ to me is sent that is a cross the resurrection is the day of pentecost when the believers who waited upon him were filled with the holy spirit and then they spoke in new tongues they prophesied they turned their weakness into strength the same holy spirit is here we don't have the luxury to wait 7 hours for him to feel something you know we walk by faith so it doesn't matter how you feel about it. ask the lord to fill you and you will know because the holy spirit is given to those who obey the lord jesus and you will be a witness to him there will be no more fear but that will be replaced with boldness we don't have a spirit of fear or timidity instead we cry out abba father with boldness he is our father and indeed perfect love casts away all fear and we serve a lord who does things on time is a spirit of order and he is at work in each and every one of us and this is the time to be submitted to him 
for we walk by faith and not by sight. Continue worshiping. Continue asking the Lord to fill you with his holy spirit. Follow me. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father,
Again, we walk by faith and not by sight. But the Holy Spirit is telling me to tell you that some of you feel that move of the Spirit in your life. Don't allow all these excuses and curses to come in the way. Indeed, a curse without a cause will not a light on you. So you have to think, where have you given a foothold? Today, as I was listening to a session, the Lord reminded me that when we sin, we give a foothold to the devil. It's like giving him a key to do something wrong, bad in our life. But he doesn't do it right away. He just keeps that key. And waits for an opportune time. And when the Lord is presenting before you an amount of promotion. The devil comes with that key. Legally, he can do that because you have sinned. When David sinned, Nathan the prophet was sent and he confessed that to the Lord. And he said, against you and you alone have I sinned. And in the New Testament we read that some people's sins are evident, and but some people's sins are only evident at the day of judgment. So, in your life you have to check where have you given the devil, the enemy, a foothold. Like I said, it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. Why I say this is because you know, even when you are young, if you disobeyed your parents and done something wrong, don't think you got away with it. Just because your parents don't know, God is watching, and so is the devil. Don't give the devil a foothold, and if you have, then all you have to do is confess your sin before God. And he no longer can, the devil can no longer use those keys against you. Hallelujah. So, uh, unless the Lord, Lord reveals to me, I do not know your heart, but use this time to get right with God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and the rest will be added unto you. Sin defiles you. And Hebrews 12, 14 15 says, you cannot see God and you're defiled, and that's probably why you have to lean and lead on emotions or on lies. This is the time to come clean. And as David said, have truth in an inward being.
Check your life. us all. You are Jesus. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. The Lord sings over you, hallelujah. The Lord sings over you. He is our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the Lord and He'll fill you with the Holy Spirit. No longer need to be a dry leaf. You no longer need to be a dry well or empty. You no, no, no longer need for the world to fill you up with its stupidities and its lies and its deceit, where you think it is happiness and joy, but is emptiness. Hallelujah. The only true love that we need, the only thing that satisfies that I have found to be true is the Lord and is filling us with joy and hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fill us with the uh, with the hope and with joy that flows from you as we are filled with the Holy Spirit. 
All we need to do is ask. I'm telling you kids, don't sit still. Ask the Lord to fill you with the Holy Spirit. You will not be the same. I remember after a retreat, a young girl, she could not have been more than 13. She was filled with the Holy Spirit. And after the retreat on Sunday, there was a complete difference in her. Even now, after so many years. But that day, I took a look at her and I said, wow, it's a complete change. Because before she was quiet, you could say she just looked in the inside and she came to church, but I don't know what the word for that is. She could not even reach out to her sisters who were filled with the Holy Spirit. There were a lot of things in her issues, like inner healing in all these areas. It has to do with the love and the acceptance that she thought she should have, but she didn't get. All that was taken away by one act of the Lord. He filled her with His Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord. He filled her with Himself. There was a complete radical change in her. I remember looking at her and I'm thinking, wow. At the time, I was not a pastor. I was just worshiping the Lord. And I remember I looked at the pastor and he saw me looking at her and he just smiled because we both knew the Holy Spirit had filled her. Hallelujah. I want you to have that same experience no matter how old you are because the Holy Spirit changes us. And some of the things as I'll teach you from the Word require a deeper understanding of the love of the Lord. But right now, all we need to do is ask. Ask the Lord to fill you. You won't be dry anymore. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. All of you lift up your hands. Ask for the Holy Spirit in your life. Father, fill them, Lord, with your hope and with your joy. Let there be an awakening in their life. Let there be a revival in their life. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and ask in your own words to be filled with the Holy Spirit of the Lord.
Be filled in Jesus' name. Oh, lift up your hands and ask. Oh, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I pray that you fall upon each and every one of us who are hungry and thirsty for your move in our lives. Hallelujah, lift up your hands. Worship him, hallelujah. This is not a joke. If you don't want to be part of this, then get out of this room, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Shabbat Ramakar. Oh, those who are hungry, lift up your hands and walk. Be washed with the blood of Jesus Christ. Your sins are forgiven. I declare your sins forgiven. Washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And ask him. Hallelujah. He'll perfect that which concerns us. Hallelujah. You may not be perfect today, but the Lord will perfect that which concerns you. Ask him. Lift up your voice. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Fill him, fill him, Lord. Hallelujah. Remove all the emptiness, Lord. Remove all the emptiness, Lord. All the despair, Lord. Remove all the failures, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the new beginning, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Yes, continue playing. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah.
Father. In Jesus' name I pray that you remove from us, Lord. everything and anything that is not from you, Lord. And that you help us, Lord, walk worthy of your calling in us, Lord. I pray that you help us, Lord. Put our lives in order, Lord. Help us be true disciples of you, Lord. Help us understand your true nature, Lord, that you're a God of love, Lord. we come to you, Lord, in faith, Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. Let not the devil steal any hope from us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Heal the broken hearted. You let the captives free, Lord. You are Jesus.
We thank you, Lord, for this time. We thank you, Lord. for fulfilling your promise upon our lives, Lord. That where two or three are gathered, you are there in our midst, Lord, in your name. That if we ask for the Holy Spirit, you will give us. And thank you, Lord, that you will honor your word in the name of Jesus, we give you glory and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. What we're going to do is now just take a break for 10 minutes. In doing these 10 minutes, don't talk unnecessarily. Just allow the Lord to minister to you. Let's just take a break, have tea or whatever. Next hour, then come back, yes? Mm-hmm. And allow, allow the Lord to move on and He'll move deeper into our life. Amen? Go in peace. Father, in Jesus' name, I surrender this session into your hands, and I pray, Lord, hallelujah, that you give us the assurance, Lord, that you are with us, Lord, even though things don't happen as we think they ought to. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Pray for protection on all the people who are here who are listening. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. That you will cause your face to shine upon us and grant us peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm not going to ask you how you feel because the Lord told me basically not to, and that. You will know the difference if the Holy Spirit has filled you. But don't be discouraged if you don't feel anything. Do you understand? Yes? Is it too cold for you? Is it too cold? You okay? No. Three quarters. I spoke about how we give the devil a foothold through sin. There are two things that I want to say about that. One is that we're purposely doing it. Because we think there will be no consequences. Maybe other people won't see it. But you can be sure that God sees it. And the devil will use that against you at the opportune time. The other thing is that 
Sometimes we sin and we do not know it's a sin. We do not know it is not the standard set by God. In which case all the legalities apply whether you know it or not. Because if you sin, the Lord sees it and the devil will use that against you. And this is where we in the New Testament we have to have a full or better understanding of what grace is. Grace is not saying that oh we can do everything and get away with it. No grace is that okay you've done this wrong but God doesn't punish you for that yet. On judgment day he'll judge all the sins but even now the consequences if you're suffering because of curses or whatever is in your life this grace enables us to confess our sin before the lord and wipe the slate clean the handwriting against us has been nullified and has been made void because of jesus christ And so if we have done something knowingly we need to repent and true repentance is a change in behavior is not just saying you're sorry because you got caught I believe I have forwarded a video regarding that also because true repentance changes you and changes your behavior when you do a 180 matanoa i have given an example much before of a u turn and when you make a u turn the holy spirit enables you first of all to make that u turn i'll speak more about that later and he enables us to keep away from the path of destruction into God's will and follow God's will and walk with God but we need to have true repentance not just say you're sorry because a thief when caught is sorry but what is he sorry for same thing with you in the day of judgment no point in saying you're sorry that is why john the baptist started his ministry with the repent jesus started his ministry with the repent paul spoke about this repentance so did peter that is required in our hearts no matter how old <clears throat> or how <clears throat> or how young we are through repentance i find it lacking because in our society we either don't need it or we can get away with saying you're sorry or we can think there's no justice and therefore do whatever Israel did that they did what was right in their eyes and they went into captivity like that you have to check are you in captivity in Jeremiah 29 says when you call to me with all your heart i will lead you out of that captivity where i sent you why because you disobeyed same thing in joel 2 to 25 if i'm right it talks about the locust the years the locust is eating eaten the swarming locust 
the consuming locust. And if you continue reading, it's a locust that has been sent by the Lord. So we have to check our lives. Are there any presumptuous sins? Are we clean before the Lord? Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and the rest will be added unto you. These are known sins, things that we know from the word of God, things that we know will displease God, and we know is a sin, but we cater to it anyway because our flesh demands it of us. That's why Paul said, I die daily. I crucify my flesh. My old man died with Jesus. And then there is the sin that we don't know. There are objects, for example, in our house that are accursed that we don't know about. I'm not reading from any notes. I'm just telling you as the Lord tells me to tell you. So that means you need to check your house. But you can't check based on a list that is given in a book or even by me. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to reveal that to you. I remember a long time ago, I was working for a company which is owned by Muslims. I was the vice president and the owner kept wondering how they know or the, what he considers his enemies. They know the things that we plan. So then he asked me, John, you are a spiritual fellow. Can you, I'm using my words, can you discern what is going on? I said, okay, I'll pray. And I prayed and I said, immediately, what is that thing on the wall? It looked like an, like a ship's anchor or a steering wheel. No, a steering wheel, but with something in the middle. I don't remember exactly what. So what is that? Oh, that is a gift. It was given by so-and-so. I said, yes, that gift has an eye. And it tells you, it tells you enemies what you plan. These are spiritual stuff. I said, get rid of that. But for them, it was precious. And naturally, it looked very precious. I think it was made of gold and it had some... I don't know, precious stones and something, all that. I said, throw it away. Put it in the waste basket. The Lord reveals to us. The Holy Spirit reveals to us. The things that are accursed in our house. So, either we get rid of it or we sanctify it to, to the Lord and we remove every curse from it and if you want to know more about this talk to me but don't bring your whole house to me yeah? let the Holy Spirit lead you and the, I'm just talking about the cursed things in the house um, but more important are your personal sins there are things in our life that we have done wrong, that have grieved God, and we don't even think that is wrong. But that is affecting us and affecting our future with Him. And it's defiling us. And that is why we can't see God. And some that is why we are led by emotion sometimes and not the Spirit of God. So you have to check. And I'll talk more about this later, but in Psalm 91, it talks about the snare of the enemy from which we escape from the foulest snare. 
And later, in another, another psalm, we read that this snare is actually for the soul. While it can be a physical snare, but I'm not discounting that, but these are things that catch our soul, trap our soul. We need to escape from that. And we can't because we are in it. But the Lord can help us get out. In Psalm 40, it says, From the mighty clay I cried out. He heard my cry. He turned to me. So before we do that, we need to understand what we did wrong, what is grievous in the eyes of God. For that, you need the Holy Spirit, not Sigmund Freud or any other psychology. But the gifts operate also. So if you have some trouble, come to me and we'll pray and the Lord will reveal. But this is not the time for that. This is time for your inspection of your life and I love the Lord to reveal things in your past like I said you could be eight years old or you could be 80 years old it doesn't matter are you filled with the Holy Spirit are you filled with joy is it bubbling over is there hope in your life if not then what does it mean to be a Christian why are you faking it? It's time to get real with God. Hallelujah. So this time, use this time. Fruitfully. And allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to you things in your life, in the past. That are hindering you and your future with Him. In Jesus' name.
whatever it is, we have to understand that His grace is sufficient. The Lord is not trying to condemn you, but set you free in Jesus' name. Whatever it is that is in your past, that is hindering your future, and the Holy Spirit reveals that to you, confess that before the Lord. If you need to talk to me, talk to me. But understand this is a continual process, a continuing process. It doesn't end with this session. Just be sensitive to what the Lord is doing in our lives. And as I will teach you from the Word in the Bible study, this is the very thing that Jesus came for when he came first as the Messiah, as our Savior. When he comes again, when the Messiah returns as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, that is for a different purpose. And he explained all of this to us. But we need the wisdom of the Lord to understand this. But hallelujah. Jesus said, follow me. That means before we experience that freedom, how can we ask people to follow him? We need to have that experience in our lives first. And that's why you need to submit yourself to the Lord, humble yourself before the Lord, and He will exalt you. Hallelujah. I feel a great relief. I know that deep inside there's joy bubbling over in your life and that there is hope. And God will help you put away these things which are troubling, which are not His perfect will. Way back, I think it was in 2010 or 2011, I remember exactly where I was when the Lord told me to stop tea and coffee. I said, oh, okay, uh, here, there. I was not very serious about it. And over the years, he had told me that, but uh, I didn't take it very seriously. Men of God that I listened to said they don't drink coffee and they don't, you know, indulge in that stuff, but... uh, I remember Andrew Womack making a joke of it, saying it's okay if you drink coffee because the Bible says you can drink poison and nothing will happen to you. So I was laughing at that, but I didn't take it personally. But three weeks ago, the Lord asked me once again to stop tea and coffee. And when he asked me, at that time, I was having coffee in the morning, maybe two cups, and then coffee in the afternoon, sometimes tea. And I tried stopping tea and coffee before, and 
I had done that when I was fasting a long time ago and then I remember I had severe withdrawal symptoms, I had headaches and all that. But still I didn't take it seriously but on when the Lord told me this time the seriousness of that hit me. And I say the seriousness because Here I am teaching about the Lord's coming and it's coming soon. He's returning soon. And then the Lord asked me, can't you go without tea and coffee just till I come? I said, yes, Lord. So I stopped coffee immediately. So it's been a over 2 weeks now since i had coffee but i have occasional tea but even that i've curb i've reduced that and i plan to stop it and i'm glad to say there are no withdrawal symptoms I cannot say I'm stronger or weaker but uh, all I can say is in obedience I stop this. And I have not felt any regrets or anything bad because of it. But in fact I'm happy that I could and that I did. Like this the Holy Spirit will teach you several things and convict you of that. Maybe you have spoken that earlier and you didn't take it seriously enough. But there are certain things like this in my life that he had spoken to me. Some of which I had blamed on uh, other people and all that, but he said the Lord said no. Stop blaming other people. You are responsible. and you can do this with me because the scripture says i can do all things through christ jesus so i said lord help me what i'm trying to tell you is that the holy spirit must reveal these things to you and he will but don't think you have it all and that you're perfect jesus himself doesn't need such people if you think in any way that you don't need the holy spirit or that you are filled with him you are deceived Check your soul. Don't miss the boat. Keep saying that.
Savior, thank you for moving in our lives, Lord. We thank you for separating us for the gospel, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that great is your faithfulness towards us, Lord. We thank you that you will help us stand fast in the liberty for which Christ has set us free. And that you will reveal the things in our life, even in the past, that require healing, that require deliverance, things that are hindering us from moving into the plans and purposes that you have for us. We thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, go in peace. Understand that the Lord is still working in each one of us. And that when he reveals things to you, write them down. And don't share with people you don't know or maybe you can't trust. Or if you want to share them, share them with me. But what you need to do is confess these things to the Lord because they should not hinder you. Do you understand? They should not hinder the future the Lord has for you. And I've been spending time with the Lord, even after these many years, the Lord has been revealing certain things that has caused certain damages to me. And he said, these are the causes. And I can't do anything about that because that was, what, 20, 30 years ago. But the Lord is moving into that and setting me free. And I can feel the freedom. Do you understand? Yes? So like that, step by step. Don't get angry with God or bitter with God or with me, especially with me. I'm a nice guy. But do you understand? Yes? I love the Lord to work. Yes? Remember, the Holy Spirit makes all the difference. Be filled and keep on asking. Do you understand? Yes? For you to be filled and filled again. Hallelujah. Go in peace. Yeah?